Are you guys ready for this? The question is, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I'm ready for Brooke, this. Brooke, you ready for this? Bethany? Totally ready. <laughs> you ready for this? Miriam, are you ready for this? Ready! <laughs> She's over in here. Miriam's putting on lip Miriam gloss. is over in hair and makeup. <laughs> okay, very nice. Do you wanna, anyone out there wanna volunteer to do our hair and makeup? That would be great. This one could We're obviously not very hair. good at it. Vlog of the week, second week of October, welcome. Brooke, you had a class last week. Yay! Yeah. It was awesome. Very that good. was a really fun class. Yes, it was. High energy. High energy. <laughs> yes, it was. You? Zen? <laughs> no. no, people always say she's just got a she's zen so energy, zen. but she's got, it's a zen energy. Yeah, That's we cool. have a lot of fun in the morning at 5.30, I think. So. Good for you. Yes. I remember when I used to teach those. I love that time, classes. actually. Oh, I do not like it at all. I don't think I've ever had fun at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> our trainer tip of the week is going to come from Miriam. She is a dietitian, a registered dietitian, incredibly smart lady. So she's going to come in and give us a nutrition trainer tip of the week. Nice. Our question of the week is going to come from me on when you should stop if you experience pain and when you're working out. And, and then we'll talk about what classes are coming out uh, this week on Studio Sweat On Demand. Okay? Miriam, are you going to wear makeup? makeup? Okay, so we're going to start with oh, yeah. me. Okay, so sometimes when you're working out, you will feel like you hurt yourself. Um, sometimes that pain is valid and sometimes it is not. If you experience a sharp pain, anything that's a, like a stabbing sensation, what do you think? Stop or keep going? Uh, stop. Yes. What did you experience today on your finger? <laughs> My finger. I dove for a medicine ball and jammed it. <laughs> Which, Which one? Awesome. Which one? Not even appropriate. So, <laughs> we no? played med ball tennis today. In case you guys haven't played that before. Yes, it's really fun. Super fun. So you play tennis, but with medicine balls instead and no rackets, just your arms. And yeah, you die for those balls. Anyway, so if you experience a sharp stabbing sensation, you need to stop what you're doing and go get ice on it. If you do that, you'll probably be back the next day or just within a couple of days. If you don't, you might be out for a couple of weeks. Now, how about if it's just a little bit of burn and dullness and you're just feeling fatigued, should you stop no. in the middle of the workout then? No. No. Yeah. You're just experiencing fatigue. the same pain everyone else is. Welcome <laughs> to fatigue. To fatigue. Yeah. <laughs> you're tearing your muscles. That's okay. And if it's symmetrical, you're feeling the same pain on both sides, for example, more than likely it's not an injury in that case. But if you're feeling it just on one side, you know, if it's just in your left tricep or, <laughs> left tricep or right tricep mm -hmm. or your hamstring or something like that just on one side, it could be an injury. So go get some ice on it. Okay, wrap it up. So that is your trainer tip of the week. Miriam, you ready yet? Ready. Okay, here comes Miriam. She's and going she to look so beautiful. Woo. She does look yes. beautiful. Okay, she Miriam, does. I'm going to let you take my spot, okay? Hello, Miriam. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Miriam Girari, a registered dietitian. Uh, there are many misconceptions about how to replenish after you work out. Some people think it's just protein, so they load up on five scoops of whey or something. You actually need carbohydrates with that to rebuild the muscle. So a good example of that would be some yogurt, some raisins. Raisins could be the carbohydrate, and the yogurt could be the protein. It has a little lactose in it, so that's also some carbohydrate. What about Snickers? Snickers! Mm, now well, we're talking. That's carbs. <laughs> Absolutely. And sugar. There's, there is. Actually, you are getting carbohydrates, you're getting protein, you're getting a lot of sugar. Um, but we want something a little bit more nutrient dense, a little less empty. So think about some foods you do enjoy that have a little more nourishment. Um, you can have something sweeter, but make sure you're having protein, a little healthy fat with it so you keep your blood sugars stable, Mabel for a couple hours and um, you'll repair really nicely. So, Thanks, awesome. Miriam. You know, I think That's there really are good. six grams of protein in a Snicker bar. And Bethany would not. I totally would <laughs> Sure. All right. I'm sure. All we have left is announcing our Studio Sweat On Demand classes that'll be released this week. Right there, Brooke. What do we got? Coming out on Monday. On Monday, we've got CAD Spin Core. Woo downloadable. That one will be downloadable. Oh, we're yay. Gonna, yeah, we're going to film that tomorrow, so that'll be available for Super. download. Yeah. Awesome. And then Friday, you've got a spin sculpt coming with Rebecca. <laughs> you do oh, have she, an alfalfa going. I do. Love I love it. It. Totally. Don't you love Sorry. it? She's yeah, a little energetic. You. A little um, bit. Rebecca. A Rebecca. She's love got her. a little, little bit of energy. So spin sculpt. Spin sculpt. She, she will wake it. your tushy up. Yeah, she And then that's it. That's it. That's it. That's this week. That's this week, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.